ever wondered how the mesmerizing architectural style of Islamic architecture came to be? Intrigued by the intricate geometric patterns, the awe-inspiring domes, and the towering minarets? Today, we embark on a journey, tracing the roots and evolution of Islamic architecture through the ages. Take a step back in time, to the 7th century, where it all began. The birth of Islam in the Arabian Peninsula marked the inception of Islamic architecture. Early structures, influenced by Roman, Byzantine, and Persian designs, were simple and practical, focused on serving religious and community needs. The Prophet's Mosque in Medina, with its simple mud-brick walls, was a prime example of this humble beginning. As Islam spread across diverse regions, from Spain and Morocco in the west to India in the east, Islamic architecture evolved, absorbing local architectural traditions and techniques. The 8th and 9th centuries saw the rise of the Umayyad and Abbasid caliphates, bringing forth an era of grandeur and sophistication. The Umayyad's Great Mosque of Damascus, with its stunning mosaics and the Abbasid's round city of Baghdad, with its unique circular design, set new standards in Islamic architectural creativity. Fast forward to the 10th and 11th centuries, the Fatimid era in Egypt and the Maghreb region gave us the Al-Ajjar Mosque, showcasing the exquisite use of decorative themes and the integration of functional and aesthetic elements. While in Spain, the Moors left an indelible mark with the Alhambra Palace, a testament to the artistic prowess of Islamic architects. The 12th to the 14th centuries witnessed the rise of the Ottoman, Safavid, and Mughal empires. These empires further refined and redefined Islamic architecture. The Ottomans in Turkey introduced the large central dome concept, epitomized by the majestic Hagia Sophia. The Safavids in Persia gifted us the Shah Mosque, known for its splendid tilework and harmonious proportions. And the Mughals in India, they gave us the Taj Mahal, an unparalleled symbol of love, blending Islamic, Persian, and Indian architectural styles. Islamic architecture is more than just about buildings. It's about creating spaces that reflect the spiritual and cultural values of Islam. It's about balance and harmony, functionality and beauty, symbolism and metaphor. It's about the intricate geometric patterns that represent the infinite nature of God, the calligraphic inscriptions that convey divine messages, and the orientation towards Mecca, reinforcing the unity of the Muslim community. The journey of Islamic architecture, from its humble beginnings in the 7th century to the grand edifices of the Ottoman, Safavid, and Mughal empires, is a testament to the creativity, skill, and aesthetic sensibility of Islamic architects. Their works continue to inspire and influence architectural design globally, a testament to the enduring legacy of Islamic architecture. So the next time you stand in awe of an Islamic architectural marvel, remember the centuries of history, the fusion of cultures, and the spiritual symbolism it carries. Islamic architecture, a magnificent blend of form and function, tradition and innovation, past and present,